Okay, you wrote the thumbnail title. Now you're here and you want to learn how to make a actual script with, let's say, Savior Simulator, right? A game that has at least 2,000 people active on, on this game. And my other remote surprise videos were either laggy or were kind of using a very not cool game, like not a game that people play. So I'm just gonna be downshading with Saber Simulator, the most the most popular game, but a decent game on Roblox. This video will show you how to make advanced scripts and let's get right into it so guys i'm officially inside the game and we will start the exploiting or the script making now this will be fast and um this is gonna be a good tutorial so now let's start with our remote spy let me turn my volume down in this game so let's start off with our remote spy right simply spy now let me execute it so guys now we are officially have the thing and let's start doing the exporting so now let, let's create a new script you know and you know let's just first do our remotes you know you can watch the previous video on remotes gives you a basic introduction but um let's see we have three remotes and those three remotes can be used as variables that can be used to run the script so remotes are basically calling a function inside the game the function that makes us give the strength for this game you know now let's just get right into the save zone because this guy wants to kill us but now let's get so we have three functions right and we're gonna have to run them all at the same time which we're gonna have to use with um, a wait function or spawn function you know this function will be used to um, do multiple variables at a time at a very fast pace and it will run as long as you need to run it as long as you're inside the game so let's create some variables so let's start the script making all right so let's make a function for the for the clicked remote right clicked let's say it's just the remote just click when you click it so let's start with the global variable remember we're gonna have to use a global variable for this let's say clicked equals true or you don't have to put it just clicked but let's say you put clicked right you want to make it call that so it was true now for the same one there's three functions now that would be three global variables there is gonna be a remote remote click from the game itself so let's do remote click click equals sorry true now we're gonna have to make another global variable which will be the update data where it updates continuously as you click on it so this is going to be called update data it will show you can follow along if you want to now we have our three variables right now we're gonna have to create them at all at the same time so let's see let's do spawn function right like how i said at the beginning of the video and we're gonna have to put a while equals equals clicked equals true do so while this thing is running like let's say while this is true so this is true here you're gonna do the remote so we're gonna have to paste the remote from clicked into here so like this right and let me just fix this real quick because this needs a little bit of cleaning up you know let's get rid of all this extra stuff that we don't need and there you go now we got that right now we're gonna have to make our wait function so let's do wait this will make it run continuously and not make your game crash when you run it you yeah, must put this or else your game will crash then you can put let's say i don't know end and then it's end officially like that now that's the full function now we're gonna have to make three of those um, and I'll come right back when we make all those functions. Yeah, guys, I got my three functions, and now we can start the auto farm, right? Now, let's see, let's execute it. And it works. You can see right here. 
But we have one problem. You can run this remote as long as you want to, but it's still it, it's it's kind of um shitty. It's gonna take a lot of time, you know? And like it's gonna take a lot of time to get your money, you know? And one way I can fix this, let me set my things to false, but really quick. I'll be right back. So now I set my values to false and we can start talking. Now we're gonna have to do the cell script or the cell um um remote. So let's just get our simply spy and actually yeah, let's get simply. Okay guys, so we got our cell script, and this is the only thing we need. We already have these things on the cell script. So, with this comes, we're gonna have to make another one uh, for our remote. So, I'll be right back when we have our cell remote. Okay, guys, just an update. You're gonna have to create another global variable like this, and make it just cell equals true. I hope that helps. Now, I'll come right back when I have to think. Alright guys, I have the um, cell remote. Well, let me turn my volume down, this is quite loud. Okay, so we have our cell remote. Let me fix this. We have our cell remote. Now, let's test our official our official script out. Oh, well, we died. Well, let's just test our script out. Okay, we spawn here. And you know... Let's just speed our way to there, since we just spawn all the way over here, and let's make our way, we can do this later, can we use it on your own, but let's first try to script out, okay, now let's do this, our, our remote is running, right, oh, we forgot to set these to true, so let me set that to true, Remember guys, make sure these are set to true, and let's execute it, and now we got an officially working, official working script. Uh, it's quite laggy, I should turn my graphics down, but, uh, just keep it this way, get rid of this, and boom, we got our working script. Um, you can use it as much as you want keep it leaving itself and then you just basically get 3k every second or once you upgrade your sword and just keep doing it all right all right guys i hope this video helped you understand a advanced script you can make in an actual game uh if this tutorial is hard for you i suggest you check out my previous video it's on it's just a introduction to remotes and I give you just a very basic remote. But it's pretty much it guys. Um sub and like if you want more tutorials on this. And see you in the next one. Uh bye.